Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch SPS 2IK W04 Slimline Dishwasher. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers. So I've got it plugged in, let's have a look. So as I just mentioned, this is a Slimline Dishwasher. Uh, the width on this one is 45 centimeters. So if you are limited for space, then this can be an ideal solution. Uh, whereas a standard dishwasher is around 60 centimeters. So as I say, it's 45 centimeters wide. The depth, so front to back, is 60 centimeters, and it's 85 centimeters high. So I'll show you the control panel first. And on the left-hand side, you've got the on and off button. And what I do really like about this is the display on here. I know it's quite simple. It's quite small in the middle here, uh, but it does serve a purpose. It's uh, the red LED display. So it's, uh, as I say, it's nice and easy to read. So just to give you a quick overview of all the programs on the left hand side here. So the first one is the Eco 50. Uh, this is a more of a popular program if you're not too concerned about the length of time of the wash, uh, but you are more concerned about the energy consumption for the program. So this one on its own can take around three and a half hours. Uh, there are, uh, there is an option on the right hand side here uh, I might as well cover this now, this is called Speed Perfect. And what this will do is this will dramatically reduce the time duration of the program. And so if you didn't have three and a half hours for this to, to do the program, then just press the Speed Perfect and it just reduces the duration of the wash. Uh, it's something that can be popular. Uh, what I'd normally recommend is if you're not in a rush or if you're doing it overnight or when you're out, just leave it on to do the full wash because you can find that the performance is better. Uh, so on that one, as I say, it takes around three to three and a half hours and that uses nine and a half litres of water. Uh, the next one, which is the Auto 45 to 65 degrees, uh, this is a really good program because what this will do is it will actually detect how dirty everything is inside the dishwasher. Because uh, what it does, it sends a small amount of water through it will detect how dirty the water is and it will actually adjust itself according to how dirty the water is. It will adjust between 45 and 65 degrees. Uh, so that's a good program if you're not really sure which program to use. Uh, so with that one, that varies in time. So it varies between around an hour and a half to two hours 40. Uh, and things like water consumption, that can vary between seven and 14 liters. So again, it's, it's doing all the, the work for you. So that's a really good one to use. The next one is the intensive 70 degrees. So that's a, an ideal program if you've say done a Sunday roast uh, where you've got really dirty pots and pans. Uh, you can just pop everything in there and that one on its own will take around two hours to do. Uh, and that one is, uses slightly more water. It's around 10 and a half to 13 liters of water. Uh, but that's a good one because that's normally a, a high temperature. If you are in a hurry, then this next program is ideal. This is the Express 65, and this is really designed to complete the job in an hour. So if you're in a rush, if you need to get, uh, if you've got quite a lot to do, then uh, if you're in a hurry, then pop it on this program, and that will do it all in an hour. And that uses around nine and a half liters of water. So just while I'm at this point, there is an option here called Favourite. And this is really designed so that if there's a certain program that you tend to use a lot, then you can actually set it as a favourite. Um, but this machine and a lot of the Bosch dishwashers this year have something called Home Connect. Uh, the main advantage of Home Connect is that you can uh, do quite a few functions from your mobile phone or tablet. So it's something that needs to be set up beforehand. Uh, I must admit I've not got a demonstration of it at the moment. Uh, I have used it and it is a very good system now. Uh, each year that the manufacturers bring these things out uh, with the connected appliances, then it does get a lot better. And I must say this year it is very good with Bosch. So the main advantage of using connected home, first of all, you've got things like remote start. Uh, this is an option where you can actually start your dishwasher from your mobile phone. Uh, also, you've got things like remote diagnostics. 
Uh, and the main advantage is if you have an issue with it, and if you've got Home Connect uh, all set up with the dishwasher, then what Bosch can do is they can actually almost log in and they can see what the fault is. Uh, it's something that they are, I suppose, recommending now, and Home Connect will be a fairly standard thing this over this next uh, 12 to 18 months. Um, but yeah, this is something, so you've got remote start, uh, the remote diagnostics, and as far as the favourite, so as I mentioned earlier, that this is something that you can actually set. Uh, you do have to set it via the Home Connect app, so if there's a certain program uh, with a, a certain added feature, then things like the extra dry, then you can set that up and it just saves you having to mess about each time with on the display. Uh, as we go over, the next thing to show you is the start in, and this is a time delay. And what this will do is this is when it will start. So that's three, six, or nine hours. Um, and that's that's useful if you've got things like economy seven, or if you just want it to go on when you're out or during the night. Then it's nice to have the the flexibility. You just press it again, then it turns off. So the extra dry function is quite a good one. And what this will do is this will actually increase the temperature of the final rinse water um, and it will extend the drying program and the main advantage is if you've got things in there things like plastic cups or some things that don't normally come out dry uh, just enable that function and that will hopefully solve any issues that you've got uh, clearly if you've got things like cups that are uh, twisted upside down so that well they're facing upwards that are full of water then it's not going to help you with that uh, that's just basically learning how to load the dishwasher properly. Uh, but yeah, the extra dry is quite a good option. The speed perfect I've pretty much covered. That's where you can reduce the time on most of these programs on the left hand side if you're in a hurry. And the final one is the machine care. And this is something that uh, Bosch will recommend to do on the on the odd occasion. There's not really a set time. Uh, I suppose it very much depends how often you use it. Uh, and also the temperatures that you're that you're operating at. If you're finding you're doing a lot more of the the cooler temperatures, say the 50 degree, then there is a good chance that you would need to use the machine care a bit more often compared to using the 70 degree programs. Uh, and all this will do is it just will give the machine a, a really good clean through. Uh, you don't need any, uh, don't put any plates or anything in there with it. Just do it on its own. And the final button on the right hand side is just the start button. So once you've actually selected the program that you want and any additional features, then just press start and away it goes. So I'll show you inside the dishwasher and it's nice and easy to open. You just pull the door in the middle there. And as we go down, it, the, the design of these are fairly standard for Bosch. So if you've had a dishwasher before made by Bosch or Siemens or Neff, because they're all the same company, then the, the actual design of them are fairly standard. The main things that vary are sort of how they're laid out. Uh, so some of the dishwashers have extra functionality inside, but as this is the Series 2 model in the range, then this is one of the basic models. Uh, but although saying that, it's still very well specced for the price on this. So these on the right hand side are optional. So if you didn't want to keep them on, then you can take them off. Uh, these are really designed for things like long bread knives, so if you've got a long knife you can put it on there. Uh, also things like the mini espresso cups, so you can line them up down there if you're into your espresso coffee. Uh, but as I say, they are optional. Uh, some people don't want to keep them on because they don't really use those things and it can affect the height of what you can put here. So if you've got uh, tall, uh, say tall coffee cups, then you, you I suppose limited for space a little bit, so these are easily removed. You can take these off. Uh, again, down here, you've got the option for things like bread knives or um, any other small items. So as we go to the bottom, then again, this is a fairly standard layout for Bosch. Uh, you've got the, the two different sections and you've got the cutlery basket. Uh, this is a, always a popular one because I, I do like these. Some people want to put that down and the main advantage of having this down and then putting your cutlery in separately is it keeps everything separate. Uh, the main downside of opening it and putting everything in, although you can get more in there, 
The main downside is it may not clean as effectively. Uh, but that can be located anywhere at the bottom. So it doesn't always have to be uh, in that section there. Uh, some dishwashers have a little cut out uh, but, uh, and you are limited to putting it in a certain section but I'm really pleased that Bosch have carried this on so it's not limiting as to where that's located. So when it comes to maintenance on the dishwasher then it is quite easy to do. I'll just take that out to show you. Um, at the back here you've got the filter so all you do is you just take that out. Uh, if you need to clean this then I'd normally recommend just giving a a, a rinse under uh, hot water. Uh, you can take this apart a bit more just to, to get in there. Uh, just get rid of any food residue that will be sitting on here first. Uh, to put that back in, just locate it back in and just give it a twist. Make sure the two black arrows, I know you probably can't see it from there, the two black arrows on there, uh, just make sure they are pointing to each other and that means it's fully locked. Uh, you've got the lower spray arm, that's easy to pull out, so when it comes to cleaning, that's nice and simple. And it's the same with the one on the top as well, so that just twists and then that comes out. So again, it's nice and easy to keep clean. Uh, the other thing to point out is that you've got the salt at the back here. Um, we, you, salt is something you have to use in a dishwasher. Um, we'd always recommend it and even the manufacturers recommend it. I know there are some uh, little tablets or the pouches that you can get that claim they have got salt in them but we still recommend using dishwasher salt in here. Um, as we go to the front of the dishwasher, so I'll just move the camera there and what you'll find is that you've got the, this is where you put the, uh, the tablet or the gel pouch, it depends which you fancy. Uh, so that's where you locate it and then you just lock it into place there. You put the rinse aid in here. So rinse aid, again, I'd, I'd always recommend to use. Uh, don't rely on the tablets to provide the rinse aid. Uh, put some good quality rinse aid in here and then you just shut that. And something Bosch have done for several years now is they've actually provided this part at the front of the top rack. And what this does, it really acts as two functions. Uh, the first one is it can be a handle, so it's nice and easy to pull the top basket out. The other thing is that during the program, then the tablet will actually come out of the, the little drawer there and it will drop into that section there. The main advantage of that is that it guarantees that it will disperse the tablet uh, or the gel pouch during the wash. Uh, some of the dishwashers, they still it still disperses it within, say, the bottom of the dishwasher. And the main disadvantage of that one uh, is that if, if it, say, lands in a cup or uh, lands behind a bowl or something, then it might not dissolve properly during the program. So yeah, that's something that Bosch have done for several years and I'm really glad they've carried that on. So another feature that you have got is you've got the adjustable top rack. And what this means is that you can actually lower the height of this if you want to. Um, so the way you do it, you can see that you've actually got two sets of wheels on here and what we need to do is to relocate the top basket. Uh, this is the sort of thing I'd always recommend trying to do it when there's not a lot in it. Uh, you can find if you're trying to do it when it's full then it's not really ideal because it gets very very heavy. So if you hold it and pull the so you pull that off and then all you're doing is you are relocating that's it so relocating it on the bottom so you're relocating it that's it onto the top set of wheels and what that's done that's actually reduced the height of the top basket and then that just slides back in and if you want to put it back then just take that off again and it just relocates on there you need to make sure you get both sides uh, and then it can be a little bit fiddly sometimes that's it so you can normally do it when you push it in but I'm trying to do this just to show you uh, for the purpose of the video so I re relocated it that's back to how it was and then you're ready to go so I'll just show you around the back of the dishwasher because uh, some people want to know what it looks like for installation purposes 
Uh, pretty much everything's at the bottom. So you, first of all, you've got the waste connection that's on the right hand side. The next one underneath, that's where the water connects. And you do get a, a new cold feed hose because clearly with any dishwasher, then they're just cold feed. And on the left hand side, this is where you've got the mains connection. Uh, what I do like is that this is the kind of plug that it comes with. Uh, I prefer these kind of leads. The main advantage is if the, for insulation purposes, if the uh, mains lead needs to go through a cupboard or through a hole in the cupboard, then sometimes that's a lot easier to get through than having to say drill a hole or even cut the plug off. Uh, we'd never recommend cutting the plug off of any appliance because it can invalidate the warranty. Now something else this dishwasher comes with is this. This is called a large item spray head and this is really designed to sit at the back of the dishwasher. So if you go to the, to the very back of the dishwasher and you'll notice that if you take this out, so you do need to take the top basket out um, and you locate it at the back and this is mainly used for uh, things like the big uh, grill pans or grill racks uh, or even barbecue racks. Um, as I say, take that out, pop that on and this is really designed to disperse the water around the dishwasher for very large items. So if you are thinking of buying one of these dishwashers then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch SPS 2IK W04 Slimline Dishwasher. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video itself. Uh, if you are thinking of buying one of these, and if you've got any questions, then leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Uh, also, if you've got one of these, or if you've got a, say, a Bosch Slimline Dishwasher, if you have any comments on it, then let me know because I'm always interested. Thanks for watching.